Hey, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. And today I wanted to show you an easy guitar solo. And that's coming up. Come to the channel to learn this easy guitar solo and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing for more guitar tips and don't forget to click the bell icon so you can be notified every time i upload a video first off when you practice it's a good thing to practice with the looper this way you can get better at playing in time i recommend the ditto looper pedal by tc electronics it's easy to use and very economical i'll leave a link in the descriptions below this video so you can check that out Okay, so notice that the capo is on the second fret, and I've got my ditto down here, and it's very easy. This goes to the amp, and this one here is going to my guitar, and then we've got a power cord. And then what you want to do is one click, and you can start recording, and then to hear what you've recorded, you click it one more time. And this is the level of volume that you want to hear. The chords we're going to be playing is an E. We've got an A. A minor. And the F shaped chord. So to make the F shape, Bar the B and E string with your first finger. And on the third string, we're going to play the third fret from the capo. And third finger, fourth string, fourth fret. The drum pattern that we're going to use is... Click it one time and then we're going to play. The chord progression is A, A, A minor, back to E. Then we're going to play A minor. So let's hear what it sounds like. As you want, you've already got your rhythm going on there. But let's take a look at this solo right now. So now that we've got the rhythm, let's take a look at the easy solo. Start on the second fret of the fifth string. And then we're going to hammer on the fourth fret. First finger on the second fret of the D string, pick it. Pick the fourth fret of the D string and slide to the sixth fret of the D string. Then pick the G string two times 
on the 6th fret and then pick the G string on the 4th fret and we're going to bar the 4th and 3rd string at the 4th fret with your first finger like this and you're going to pick the D string and hammer on the 6th the, uh, fret of the D string and then pick the G string So it's D string, hammer on, G string, and then pick the 6th fret of the G string. So here's what we got. So after we hit the hammer on the six, a hammer on the D, pick the G at the sixth fret, pick the G at the fourth fret, pick the D at the sixth fret, and pick the fourth fret of the D. Then we're going to hammer on the D again. So put your finger on the 4th fret of the D string and hammer on that 6th fret. Pick the G string at the 4th fret. Pick the G string at the 6th fret. Pick the 5th fret of the B string. And then we're going to bend the B string at the 7th uh, fret. So it's like this. It's hard to do slowing it down. So after you bend it, and it comes down, pick the fifth fret of the B string. You're going to hammer on the B string, and then slide up one to the eighth fret. 7th fret, 5th fret of the B string, 6th fret of the G string, and 4th fret of the G string. And then we're going to take your 3rd finger and slide from the 4th fret of the G string to the 6th fret of the G string. And then using your 1st finger, pick the 4th fret of the high E. That was a mouthful. Here we go. So if you've learned something in this video, can you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you, and take a look over at yourguitarguide.com at the courses that I've got over there. And don't forget to look at that video right there. Thanks.